what's up guys this is rise and welcome to another video today we have a very cool team we're going to be showcasing featuring shadow hypno along with grand bull and shadow magna zone this team comes from a trainer that said he's been seeing a lot of the same stuff in the remix cup and he wants to mix it up no rhyme scheme was intended there and one little personal anecdote when i first started playing pokemon go one of the areas in Waukesha, Wisconsin, in which I would tend to play all the time, was actually a drowsy nest at a park. So I would catch a ton of drowsy, and in return, I was able to evolve them and get a ton of hypnos. So I remember when I went off to college, and I met a few other people that played Pokemon Go. I had like 10 hypno, and they all thought it was like absolutely insane that I had like 10 hypno in my Pokemon storage. So I was like the hypno guy. But uh, anyway, Shadow Hypno making an appearance a favorite pokemon of mine because it's like i told you it's uh i actually have a rank one shadow hypno myself and i used to run it a ton back in limited themed cups and it's got obviously so many different charge attacks it can sometimes pressure shields from your opponents because they don't know what's coming at it, it has so many different options for its charge attacks we see this matchup here. Nice bait by the opponent. Gligar, of course, can threaten Magnazone with that dig. So, does successfully bait with the Aerial Ace. That's unfortunate. Wild Charge grabs a shield. Going to swap into the Hypno. Hypno, a bulky Pokemon. And here's where that Ice Punch coverage is going to come in handy. Super effective Ice Damage to threaten the Gudra here. Ice Punch connects. Super effective damage. Gudra is going to fire off potentially an Aqua Tail here. But you're going to see the bulk of Hypno, even as a Shadow Pokemon, still takes the Aqua Tail fairly well and gets the Confusion down. Has a move ready to fire off. And Ice Punch is going to hit super effective against this Credilly. Gets a shield. Credilly does get a nice farm. So this is a little bit concerning. Going to come in with Magnazone. Magnazone will resist everything that Credilly can throw at it. So I like this play. Comes in. Mirror Shot's going to hit for super effective. Counter Swap. They do with the Gligar. Going to shield and does successfully shield the dig. Going to get rid of it with the wild charge. I like this play because this will guarantee the knockout. And now we'll probably see the swap into Granbull to clear that debuff. So now Cradilly is going to be forced to expend energy. This is a non-shadow Granbull. So can actually withstand a move here. The Grass Knot not going to be enough to knock out. And they are going to have to expend another charge attack here. And now Cradilly is going to be way too low to handle that Magnezone. Another Grass Knot fires off. Interesting that they threw Grass Knot there. I wonder if they're running like Grass Knot Stone Edge as opposed to Rock Slide. Um, no, they do have Rock Slide, but for some reason they opted to Grass Knot when it was super low. Anyway, good game there. As they get a win in the first set. This will be a one of the shorter videos on the channel just a one setter for you gym leader drew is the next opponent let's see what type of gym leader he is we got the ice type frost last in the lead positive lead for magnezone the mirror shot is not a very hard hitting move but because it's coming from such a high attack pokemon like magnezone and it is super effective it will be threatening did get that attack drop frost last does threaten the shadow ball nice bait by the opponent here and they swap in Quag. Going to counter swap Hypno. Uh, an opponent didn't time that the best. So it gives them a free confusion. Now Hypno doesn't do the best here. Because the Ice Punch is not that strong of a move. So it's not going to be that threatening. But as you see the confusions are chunking. And because Quagsire is just going for Mud Bomb. We can easily live this as the Hypno. So this is going to come down to whether Quagsire. Oh they probably do get to one Aqua Tail here right? No they don't. Wow. So Hypno made that look easy. That's kind of crazy. So if Quagsire timed that one charge attack better, maybe they would have got to a third move. Also, maybe if they had um, if they had gone three Aqua Tails instead of Mud Bomb Aqua Tail. We see the counter swap here. I like this play a lot because you don't want to give the Registeel that full lock on down. And also, it's tough for your opponent, right, to... Um, to swap like <laughs> they don't want to swap frost last into magnezone which they're kind of forced to do here mirror shot knocks out oh my gosh you still have a shield to hide behind you simply shield this okay not gonna shield this i take it back gonna save it for granbull but as long as they don't have flash ken you're chilling so i guess wanted to flex the granbull in the back 
I think the simpler play would be simply shield your Magnazone, reach the wild charge, but wanted to uh, flex. Looks like these battles might be a little bit mixed and matched. Um, but here we go. Next opponent, Magnazone into Tentacruel. Amazing lead. Going to resist heavily these poisons, these poison jabs, I should say. And you do have to respect the potential Scald. Opponent with a bit of a misplay, right? Throwing out alignment there. Gives a free Volt Switch. Scald gets shielded. In comes Obstagoon. Now, I would prefer to see just the instant swap into um, Granbull. But this works too. You get a shield. So this is fine. Obstagoon is going to fire off a move here. And this was super quick. So, you know, it's not anything threatening. <laughs> it's an Obstruct. Oh my gosh. Now, to be honest, this is actually... This isn't bad, but, like, there is one concern here. The one concern here, well, honestly, it's not even a concern anymore. So, I would actually close combat. Um, crunch is fine. I would close combat because you give the Tentacruel less farm, and then you just Volt Switch down. But you get a shield. So, that's fine, too. Yeah, this this works. I mean, this is just a really commanding position. I keep, like, trying to find situations <laughs> for the opponent to, like, try and turn this around. But I'm like, no, he's... He's just got it. He's just got the win. <laughs> GG. Searching for the next one. Maybe it was just a visual thing. Maybe this maybe this is all uh, just one consecutive set. Magnazone into... Okay, a fellow. Shadow Hypno. Isn't it funny when you're running something spicy and then you see someone running the same thing? You're like a fellow trainer of culture. Charge attack coming through. Going to respect potential fire punch, potential shadow ball, which could knock out. And look at that. It actually was the shadow ball. So a great shield. Going to go for the wild charge here. Has the back to back. So can guarantee the shield or the knockout. Going to go for the back to back. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a pivot into their own hypno if we see a double shield here. Actually going to swap into Granbull instead. That's fine. Um. Okay. Opponent swaps into Tapu Fini. Oh, that was a little bit close, but nice job here. Close combat will nearly knock out, even though it's resisted. It's such a hard-hitting move. Okay, Tapu Fini able to tank it. You just let this go, right? Confusion down with your own Hypno. Nature's Madness, interesting. I guess if you're only going to get to one move, you might as well throw that in case they shield. That makes sense. Comes in zone. I don't love this, because I don't think your zone's of much use to you here, so I think you would have rather got the head start with Hypno. But this Ice Punch is going to come in real handy here. For proper timing, you want to try and throw after two Confusions here. Beautiful. Oh, okay. We're over farming a little bit too much for comfort, in my opinion. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Opponent swaps and throws their move. But now we have the double ice punch, so now we just win. So the opponent should have um, not thrown their charge attack, right? The opponent should have played to the win condition of just going for fast attacks. If the opponent had just committed to fast attacks, they might have actually had a chance to win there, which is kind of insane, right? Let's just do a little bit of instant replay. I know some of you guys don't like it when I do the little pause instant replay. But I think we got a little bit... And I do the same thing sometimes where you're like, you're too afraid of the catch. So sometimes you like over farm too much. But here, right, if the opponent just stays in, the the Tropius was still super healthy, right? And we didn't throw right away. So they could have got another whole air slash worth of damage. We ice punch. I don't know if ice punch... Well, I guess we'll see based off the end game again. If it, if it one shot from the health the Tropius was at. But then they would have got another whole confusion after the air slash potentially. But instead, they throw the move, which just gives you time to shield, to think, and then you just say, okay, the confusion knocks out, and now I simply have double Ice Punch. Yeah, I think Tropius was low enough where Ice Punch KOs anyway. So, potentially didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't matter, potentially, yeah. So, I'm, I'm trolling a little bit. I'm trolling. I'm being too critical. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Catches a Gumi as a reward. 2180, very nice. I guess uh, more so than it changing the potential result there wouldn't have made a difference. It was more so with the shield still to hide behind, what does throwing the Thunder Punch there 
really do for you, right? Really no reason to throw the charge attack if you're the opponent. Dunsparce, okay, interesting matchup. Zero fast attack pressure from Dunsparce, but of course the drill run will threaten to knock out. So opponent, once again, bit of a misplay. Why not throw one more rollout for proper timing? Instead, they give an entire free volt switch. And now this is super advantageous for the Magnezone. So this video has been a good example of sometimes where the uh, timing can be super important. Opponent makes a catch on Atropius, but I mean, this is perfectly fine. It's going to do a lot of damage. Oof, big damage on Trope. And now Hypno might be able to get a full confusion down. Once again, throwing out alignment. Yikes. And uh, that can be one advantage of running like a four turn fast move user. Is sometimes people might not know the correct timing and you can take advantage of that and get a lot of turns for free. Has so much energy stored, just going to throw instantly. I don't mind this. Ice Punch. Knocks out. Going to throw back to back just to pressure Dunsparce here. Get off this energy before they can get off a move. Dunsparce he does get off a move before going down. Hypno might even survive this drill run, though. No, it doesn't. I'm wrong. Oh, no. Poor Dragonair. <laughs> Poor Dragonair. Yikes. Well, a very dominant set there for uh, our submission artist here. Thank you. Um, once again to Kodiak80 for the cool submission. A nice little Hypno showcase there. And uh, shout out Hypno, a personal favorite of mine. We got to see it in action there. And the reliable confusion damage along with the coverage of its different elemental punches. And sometimes you can surprise people with Shadow Ball, of course, or maybe Psy Shock, or also Focus Blast. We've seen from time to time for that massive one-shot potential. Um, a very cool Pokemon indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, comment down below. All comments are appreciated. And all that said, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.